every single month there are those dreaded bills that many of us have to pay and take care of. But one of them in particular, phone bills, have been silently increasing over the past several years. And in Canada, we have some of the most expensive cell phone bills and internet rates compared to anywhere else in the world. But what if the tables were turned and the phone companies were paying you instead to use their products? Hey guys, just Vice here. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and drop a huge thumbs up to support the growth of my channel. And if you've learned something new or enjoyed something about my videos, don't forget to let me know in the comments below and I'll even give you a thumbs up or a big heart right back. And back to those dividends. So if there was a way for these cell phone companies to pay you to use their services, you'll find out in this video. Stay tuned till the end. Canadian telecommunications market, there are several key players that range from the actual telecoms themselves to the main distributors such as the wholesalers and of course the consumers that buy all these products. But within the many players, there are what we like to refer to them as the big three, and that's Bell, Telus, and Rogers. Within the big three, they control many different services that span all parts of Canada offering wireless, wireline communications, as well as technologies ranging from LTE all the way up to the newly available 5G, available in certain communities, of course. And within the big three, they have accounted for many different types of services over the past several decades. But from an investing standpoint, I chose to look at two companies in particular, and that's BCE Inc. and TELUS. As a Canadian investor looking to build a dividend portfolio, I look at companies that are consistently growing both their stock price as well as their dividends. And TELUS and Bell both fit this to a T because their dividends have been growing and there are companies that have been consistently innovating over the past several years. The first institution that I'm gonna take a look at is BCE Inc. And that's better known as Bell Canada. They are trading in the ballpark of around 61 Canadian dollars, and they're well known for their wireless services, wireline, television, and internet. And within their sort of main lines of business, they have Bell Wireless, Bell Wireline, and Bell Media. So even if you're not a Bell Wireless customer, you could be listening in to one of their radio stations or one of their TV channels and not even know it. With BCE, they're a company that continuously innovates in future technologies and a lot of innovation. With the recent 5G deployment and the previous LTE+, there are many new technologies that they've made available to Canadians. As an investor, you're going to take a look at their amazing dividend of 5.71% that's paid on a quarterly basis. Now, this is a dividend that has been paid consistently and has been growing over the past several decades. Now, the second institution that I'm taking a look at is T.TO, otherwise known as TELUS Corporation. With TELUS, they're trading in the ballpark of around 27 Canadian dollars, and TELUS is in the business more of wireless and wireline. So they're headquartered out in Vancouver, so they operate more of their wireless business in Ontario and many other services spread out throughout various parts of Canada. They employ over 78,000 people and TELUS is very well known for a lot of the initiatives that they're making in the health space and they've been continuously investing in a lot of technology that helps with the future of health in Canada. With TELUS as an investor, you're looking at a 4.60% dividend that's paid on a quarterly basis. And once again, this is one of those dividends that has been growing and has been consistently paid out over an extended period of time. With both of these institutions being Canadian companies that have been growing over the past several decades, looking at it from a dividend only perspective isn't necessarily fair. You need to look at the amount of technology that they have, the potential that that technology serves, and what kind of investments these institutions have been making. At a $27 and a $61 price tag, they may not appear to be too expensive, but the potential that comes with all of these investments that they're currently making is what I'm most excited for. Looking at the way that 5G is unlocking new potential for learning, health, 
and gaming, it's pretty insane to think that as an investor, you can capitalize on a lot of this potential over the next couple of years. So if you're looking to add two new companies to your portfolio and you want to get those dividends to pay off your phone bill on a monthly basis, check out BCE Inc and T.TO, better known as TELUS. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a huge thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you thought about these two companies. And if you're already invested, let me know what you think about them so far. But other than that, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that to support the growth of my channel. But until then, I'll see you next time.